mid lane waiting for that roll and KP recognizing that is pressuring him, keeping him low HP. So Ohio's going to be deterred from TPing in the mid lane. Uh, mid when one, he's just low. a little bit of trouble up on the top lane. The bugs already got him. He'll doppelganger himself down. But how does he get out of this one? The answer is he doesn't. It will be how who spills the first blood on the top lane against Fnatic. Because he's got the three points up in teleportation. So he always wants to be everywhere. DJ the Raw catching a mid boulder. He thought he would come down just steal the room from KP. Now Mushi with one raise. They're going to open wounds. Mushi has to TP out to show more signs of Babylon. Mushi dropping down to 38 HP. But that can also be dealt with with an H's Prophet. So Fnatic still feeling confident. No Exism up. There's a lot of physical damage being removed from Nubi's fight. Come Nubi ready to fight. Uh, without the Exism, can this really be done? And now with the silence on how the kick as well. They just take Roshan and get the bugs off them. Lifestealer moves the front lines inside that granite column. You've already got the TP out. Fnatic, they don't want to be involved in this. But in fact, Mushi gets roared up. He decides not to use his BKB. The Yule Scepter also cancels mid one. He cannot TP out of this. So two calls lost from Fnatic. It almost felt like they got caught napping. At the jungle, all the lanes with the Aghanim Scepter pushes things out. So. He's always going to be taking away farm from players like Mushi in mid one. How? Trying to go for a solo kill on Mushi with the boulder forward. Mushi will go down and how the silence is there. Will he sacrifice himself? He only sacrifices the Aegis. You got a life stealer inside the Black Dragon. Will pop out. Looking for the kill in Ohio. How might be trapped for the moment, but now he'll break free. Stunned up a little bit again. That Earth Spirit doing his job, but Ohio KP still on the run after him. The Radiance Burn will do the work, and now he can move to 343. Open Wounds is back off cooldown again. So he'll find the kill underneath the tier two. Tower and Fnatic, there is no safe place for them. Oh, top lane, this is not where Fnatic want to be. They're thinking about defending the lane, but Chorn comes in from behind. Moose already got his BKB off of the way of Terra 343. He is so low, and how? Shreds him apart. DJ as well underneath the tier 2 tower. He's going to drop, and there it is. GG will be called. 315 is when we'll end this one. 30 minutes in. Newbie, a commanding performance here in game number one of this best of three. Everything just went right. The laning stage. They won all three lanes with a jungle beastmaster, and when you can get away with an iron talent jungle beastmaster without losing a single lane Radiant's top and getting farm in every single lane, you you'll win that game nine times out of ten, if not more. Like that's just almost not. Just do it.